Hey folks, Sean Bagshaw here with another TK Panel quick tip for you. In September 2019, Tony Kuiper released some free updates to the TK7 panel. Tony has a video covering all the updates, and I've already shared one quick tip on ways to use the new Infinity Color Mask feature. I'll link to both of those in the description. In this quick tip, I'm going to take a look at the new My Channels update. Over the last few versions of the panel, in addition to generating an unlimited number of masks, the Rapid Mask module has increasingly provided options to modify or customize masks, add and subtract masks, and also output masks in a variety of ways. In the past, these great features have only been available to use with masks generated by the panel's Rapid Mask engine. But I usually have masks on layers, masks I've saved in the channels panel, or selections that I've created that I wish I could access through the Rapid Mask module as well. With the new My Channels feature in the TK7 update, you can. For example, in this image, I already have quite a few masks on my layers. I have a couple of masks saved in the Channels panel, and I've also just created a refined land selection. Before, there was no easy way to access any of these in the Rapid Mask module. With the update, you can now go to the Channel menu and select the My Channels option. It opens a window that shows all the channels you have available. In this case, we see my active land selection, the mask that is on the currently active layer, my saved sky mask, and my saved snow and clouds mask. I simply select the one that I want and it becomes my new rapid mask. This means that the rapid mask module can now be used with all selections, masks, and saved alpha channels. Let's look at a few different ways that this might be used. First, let's say you've previously made a layer mask that you want to use again, and it's on one of your adjustment layers, but it'd take a lot of time to recreate it. So you can now simply highlight that layer, and then go to the channel menu and select My Channels, and then load current layer mask into the Rapid Mask Engine. Now that it's in the Rapid Mask Engine, I can further modify the mask if I want. For example, maybe with an auto levels, and I'll expand it a couple of times because I really want to increase the effect within that area of the image. And now I'm going to add this to a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. And then use that layer with that new mask to make a further adjustment. You can also load any selection that you've already made into the Rapid Mask Engine. In this case, here's my refined land selection that I made. Now I immediately want to be able to use this in combination with the Rapid Mask module. So again, I would come up to the channel menu and go to My Channels, and this time I want to load the active selection into the Rapid Mask Engine. Now I can output it with any of the layer menu options that I want. In this case, I will add it to the Orton effect layer. And there's that mask from that selection on the Orton effect layer. And it's constraining the Orton effect to the landscape and not allowing it to go up into the sky. And you can also load any of your save masks in the channels panel into the Rapid Mask Engine so that you can use them with the Rapid Mask module as well. Again, you can modify them and output them in any way you want, and you can also use them in combination with the mask calculator. For example, in this case, I'm going to try to enhance the Alpine glow on the snow. I have a saved snow and clouds mask that will get me part of the way there, so I'll start with that. This will allow me to work on the snow in the image, but it's also going to impact the clouds. So next, I'll click on Subtract in the Mask Calculator, and then I will go to My Channels and load my Sky Selection, and then finally click Equals to subtract the Sky Selection from my Snow Selection. And now that I've created that custom mask, I can go to the layer menu, and I'm going to add this to a selective color adjustment layer. And now I can work with the colors in my selective color to enhance the Alpenglow light on that snow.
And those are just a few possible ways that you might use this. For me, being able to incorporate any layer mask, save channel, or selection into the Rapid Mask engine is a pretty big deal. And the possibilities for how you might use this new feature are only limited by your imagination. So I hope you find this quick tip and the new panel feature to be helpful. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in as always, and I look forward to seeing you again the next time.